Wow. This. 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 This is Iceland. Today is going to be an incredible day. I get to go on a private tour with Viking horses. The Icelandic horse is one of the oldest, rarest, purest breeds in the world, and probably the freaking cutest. Many are pony-sized with long, flowing, rock star manes and five distinct gates. The Icelandic horse is the only breed of horse in Iceland, and it can trace its roots back to the late 9th century, when Vikings first settled the country. To learn how to ride these adorable creatures, I meet up with Vigo Sigurdsson, a passionate horseman and co-owner of Viking Horses. Vigo has been riding horses since he was five years old and launched his horse riding company on the outskirts of Reykjavik less than a year ago. Riding an Icelandic horse is uh, smoother than riding most uh, other breeds, especially uh, the Tult. It has the same foot pattern as the walk, and it's a really soft and comfortable gait to ride. Uh, you don't bounce up and down like on the trot. That's how smooth it is. The traditional style of riding is all about comfort, as Vikings had to endure long rides in harsh terrains. Icelandic horses respond best to confident riders who ride with their heels down, weight back, and with a short grip on the reins. This is the horse you'll be riding today, Jökull, that's his name. Jökull means glacier. Now it's time for me to ride like the Vikings, but my horse Jökull is a little spooked by our camera crew. Fortunately, Vigo calmed him down and in no time had me riding the tolt. For our next challenge, we head to a private volcanic beach to gallop and play in the waves. And if the conditions are good enough, Vigo will demonstrate the famous fifth gate, the flying pace. It's a surreal experience like riding on the moon. Not a soul in sight. Miles of rugged, barren lunar landscape in every direction. Unbridled freedom. No, this is not your typical trail ride. Far from it. We are really passionate about what we do and, and uh, you know, every tour is unique and, and one of the things we do is we don't go the same path always. And that way the horses, they don't get bored, uh, we keep it spontaneous. Their feeling will be much more natural for our guests. In the middle of nowhere, the Viking Horses team surprised us with a picnic of homemade parsnip soup, sandwiches, fruit and hot chocolate. I could get used to this. Mmm, it's so good with the coriander. Vigo and his team go out of their way to ensure that guests have an experience they won't soon forget. Sometimes that means pulling out all the stops and demonstrating the flying pace. Although it's rarely performed outside of competitions, the flying pace is considered the crown of horsemanship for Icelanders. With this gait, the horse's legs on each side move in unison, creating a distinctive moment of suspension. And it really feels like flying. Some say that perfection can be cultivated over time. The Icelandic horse, untouched by outside influence and bred for its most desirable qualities, is a thousand years in the making. <laughs>